Hi, I'm Dennis Lamar, the director of this episode. Hi, I'm Jake Rodkin. I didn't really work on this episode, but I'm hanging out. Ubermax. Hi, I'm oh, yeah. Mayus, and I did some cutscenes in this game. Uh, hi, I'm Thorsten. Same. Hi, I'm Nicholas Herman, and I did the uh, good bits of this part. Did <laughs> 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 a resident <laughs> butt on this commentary? <laughs> 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 oh, this is three or four. This is the fourth, Ooh, episode. fourth episode. Yay. Three, three or four. four. Yeah, I got That's the nice. honor to make the whole intro cutscene, and it was fun. You better tell them that. And yeah, there were a lot of them. characters Damn. to block. <laughs> <laughs> it was, Sounds I, uh, I, uh, I did a first draft of the cutscene with, with uh, roughly yeah, animations and rough with blocking of the characters. Yeah, and then I went the for vacation for two weeks. And when I came back, I got a lot of bug reports heroes, because so people didn't get that it still was first draft. <laughs> Sorry, there's a the sand behind the sneaky stuff. Yeah. Naked turns it off. Oh, and there. Since their uh oh. Defeat of the mad the creepiest homie in the human race. And so, you. But Bahomian and Bahomian. Yeah. <laughs> that was Mike coming in and I was like, oh, we're going to do this fourth thing. And you're like, I hate that. I hate you forever. Yeah. <laughs> you put that in the game and then you saw it and you're like, that's kind of sweet. Yeah. Secrets that lie beyond. The Alley of the Dolls. Awesome title card by Stephen Westin. It's loosely based on something. <laughs> Again. So, oh, that uh, intro. We Epic cutscene, Yes. yes. So um, I think everyone can way. see that this cutscene was inspired we by the movie Boogie, Boogie Nights. <laughs> <laughs> so, my direction was like, I was like, the, the intro of Boogie Nights, and you were like, sweet. Wait, I haven't seen Boogie Nights. So yeah. I, we, that night we actually went back. <laughs> I showed and it had to your own boogie night. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Whoa. And the next morning I started this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 So yeah, a lot, a long camera shot without any cut. Yeah, it's very cool. That was fun. Oh, that was a cut. Oh yeah, that's when the cut starts. That was, I got tired of yeah, it. Nick, so. Nick was mad that this was stolen for a while, but yeah. now you love it because it's a sweet cutscene. Well, yeah, now I love it because I didn't want to do it after I had a million other things to do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, creepy arms. The music in this opening is really good, especially this. Like Here it is. To boil the haggis. Oh yeah. <laughs> check it, check it. There it is. Right <laughs> here. It's the best. Yeah. Yep. And that's on the electric guitar is Bill Storkson, who does all of our other stuff, and you can also hear him wailing out to the max on the Brutal Legend soundtrack. Oh really? He, yeah. All the like most of the non-licensed, uh, like all the original score. He's the guy who plays all the crazy guitars oh, in awesome. that game. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's Jared or Julian? That's Julian. This is my cutscene. Oh, it's not as good as mine. Oh, well, yeah. He's German, so. <laughs> yeah, we did put a lot of uh, effort up front to make the clone attack feel. Like a kind of crappy B zombie attack movie. Yep. Well, there's, there's the, the classic zombies reaching through the wall, pulling a guy out. Which, spoilers! I mean, <laughs> oh, yeah, I hand animated this. Oh, no. Oops, sorry. Just, oh, no. Jessica. Jessica did that, actually. <laughs> I like that whenever Skunk Ape actually gets a hold of a toy, he gives a big soliloquy about how he and this toy are going to take <laughs> Right, and then immediately and loses it. And then, right, like, in the clone chamber, he does the same thing with yeah. the robot. Oh, uh, creepy enchanting. Also, this this uh, puzzle actually made me try to um, yeah try one of those peanut butter chocolate cups. Mm. Oh, they're delicious. I love them. <laughs> this is Sam. Sam right there yeah, is expressing so. my sentiments on every time you get powers. He oh, checks yeah. his watch because <laughs> I was sick of it by then. Ah, the Maya's cutscene. Oh and man, when I the whole production of this episode, I really was impressed when I first opened up this environment. <laughs> Just you can this pull the camera like. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, I had to. <laughs> yeah, I saw the, it first like this, and I thought, okay, there's in the background, there's a huge hall with Next? all these cabins. Yeah. And then I moved the camera and realized how big that room is. Yeah. yeah. This is a cool environment. And I think you did the original, <clears throat> the original script was just um, them showing up and then just leaving. And we just thought it would be cool to introduce them. It's sort of like the beginning of Act Two, and I was like, "Oh man, it would be cool if we could sort of humanize the clones there for a second. And then Myas 
did this. <laughs> we like, what if there's the another music clone? cuts out? That's what Perfect it is. timing. And there's like this sweet bit of interaction here. This was changed like when, five thousand times. Uh, yeah, it, it was. Landed it was back where it started. It was, yeah. Well, because we yeah we just so many people Whoa. liked it we cut it, <laughs> and then so many people kept yeah. being mad that we cut it, and so we finally. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> First, we did it more secretly, right? Without <clears throat> Mike. Yeah. <laughs> well, it was, yeah, we had the idea. Stanley like, needs to know about her. <laughs> yeah, we thought it could be a really cool moment, but we knew we'd have to sell it. So Myas was like, ah, let me just try something. And we did it. And then I think a lot of people <laughs> <laughs> That's saw it were like, yes. That's strange. This season has more instances of Max poking up from behind a wall at an angle than anything <laughs> yeah. has ever had. Nick doesn't like it, apparently. Uh, also, like yeah. like Sam's outfit is changing every time. It's now <laughs> yeah. you play... Every mm. episode, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, not episode one. So here's the TF2 oh, dispenser. Nice. Oh, yeah. Uh, That's me good and show. Robert Oates, one of our programmers, <laughs> both thought it would be hilarious to put a TF2 dispenser in. We'd... Um, Banang. <coughs> Banang. <laughs> We, we play a lot of Team Fortress 2 in the office, and it turns out the Team Fortress team is a fan of Sam and Max. Yes. So we did this crazy thing where if you play Team Fortress and you owned Sam and Max Season 3, you'd be able to wear Max's head in Team Fortress, so we thought we'd reciprocate by hiding uh, a Team Fortress health dispenser. <laughs> and also a Benang inside the dispenser. And then, and then we decided, since we had this Easter egg, we would also nest the, the Telltale Benang Easter egg inside of the Team Fortress yes. Easter egg. And it was weird. Really? It was good. <laughs> yeah, it was good. Oh, I remember that one. Oh, that's that's kind of mine. <laughs> I can tell. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. What are Don't look at me. Oh, sorry. That's good classic Sam and Max bursting through a door. <laughs> I know, right? Human minds aren't equipped to comprehend. Hey, Sam, there's a guy in here. That is really good. Amazing Max thing. Stupid, but awesome. Oh, oh, so there's a guy. Jake is pleased. Among them, Yog Sagoth, elder fiend of the dark dimension. I'm the sky portal from the last episode. <laughs> <laughs> and I was that cloud sphincter. <laughs> oh, you can't see that in the background, but there's a clone back there. Yeah, you can see him sometimes. Uh, oh, not oh, in this episode. But not oh, there's here we go. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Being in Northern California, we had to have a ghost riding the whip. joke, and then uh, it's good that Max <laughs> asks if they were cloned in 2005, though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Uncle Morty. My stamp collection is hidden. Just like whoever did this guy's head had to like zoom in on the bottom corner because it's like a grandma <laughs> vacation photo. Casey, no, Casey did this one, I think it turned out really well. <laughs> oh wow, you guys actually did the weird poltergeist stuff where the lights flash yeah. and everything. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, I know, Casey. Oh, oh. Does allow the POTUS to make contact with our target, sirs. <laughs> I feel like it's like scatting or something. <laughs> That's William Cash and the guy who plays Max. That any excuse will just blather weird gibberish. What happened to you? I don't know. I was looking into all these rampaging things, <laughs> when all of a sudden my spirit started pinballing through what? all sorts of nightmarish <laughs> heck dimensions. She's ghost. She Your seance hadn't anchored me to this plane of existence. I can. might never have found my way home. Oh and now the camera cuts back, and there's six small boxes. She merged into one. Hey, oh, her head spin around. Carrier. Right. Of course you are, sir. And Super Bowl. And what? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Nick and I are like, we didn't play this part of it. Remember that time? Nice. <laughs> 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 hey, not many people have seen this cutscene, I guess. Oh, yeah. Uh, here we go. Best, the worst uh, part of the game. Oh. So, oh, that's no, the no, best no. part, I guess. Wrong, wrong text, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> music. <laughs> Sam show more respect for our car than we do. Physics! <laughs> well, that was awfully convenient. <laughs> yeah, That's so funny. this was done in a free hour or two. 
What? <laughs> oh, three. <I> mean, <laughs> looking at the tool, at, at the, the animation the case what? for all that stuff. Yeah, insane. What in the, in the Telltale tool? Oh. The engine. Oh, we can say that. Yeah. All right. <laughs> but yeah. Looking at looking at the amount of work that, that you put into that animation, Thorsten, was mind blowing. Oh god. Alright, here we go. Why is this in, what is this? <laughs> we walk and Mike still know about this. We walked on that like Should until I get Mike in here? Six <laughs> AM, I guess. Uh six AM. Yeah. Yeah. I heard yeah. rumors. That was that we, we had this I'd, I'd always wanted Sam, like we had the shorts there. I was like, there's gotta be some point where he tries to put them on. <laughs> <laughs> And so we had this idea, and Mike said, no, 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 <laughs> unless it's the very last thing you do, and there's not involved with the puzzle, and it doesn't mess up the game flow at all. And so we made it like a little Easter egg where it's like basically a pixel hunt at the end there's of the game. There's only like one moment in the one game. One specific state that you can trigger it in, and you have to know it's there. <laughs> <laughs> so. I, I thought it was went crazy. crazy. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was one of those things where we thought it would be funny. And then once we told people, they were like, you should stay late and do that. So we stayed till like 6 in the morning, like two days before shipping. Or How something. come the water is louder than his laughter? What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Sorry, I just like critiquing your, your chores and well, making you feel like <laughs> crap. <laughs> <laughs> it's like shot for shot we had a new idea <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice that was our way of getting rid of the shorts and making yeah. it so nothing that's what you have to do and if, you, if there's an easter egg where you can click on something you have to have one of the characters be so mad at it that they throw it yeah, out right. of the game at the end <laughs> oh I did the one too my queen was I would have gotten here sooner. The old fool and his shameless wouldn't let me leave. It has very. It's actually really cool. I mean, it doesn't quite come together, but all the scenes are really nice. I love that push in. It's the only way to get everything we want. Epic animation come. No! Do it. We were about to ask you the same question. We were? I was going to ask about biological compatibility issues. Fine. There's no point in denying it any longer. This is where Sal and I meet to revel in forbidden love. Yeah, the forbidden love thing. Not where we meet to discuss getting rid of our evil grandpa stick. That's a nice step on foot. That was good, yeah. Explain that. Who did this cutscene? Mice. Whoa. Wow. Where did those come from? <laughs> <laughs> you, you have talent. Thanks, Nick. That's... Yes, Thanks. Master. You want to work for Telltale? <laughs> Sam? You want to go back to Germany and go to art school? <laughs> I'm sorry, yeah. Upside, oh. It looks like neither Stinky nor her chitinous boyfriend are the mm -hmm. master of the Did you guys point out that this is our kitchen? On the downside. Oh, no, we didn't. That's a good point. Yeah, that kitchen there. Uh, Brian Gillies modeled it directly after the Telltale kitchen. So down to the actual cups with, like, butterflies on them. And the sign on the dishwasher that says dirty. Yeah. And, uh... We had to make it off model, but it was. It also includes Andrew Langley's Cafe yeah, Press version of the Monkey Island Grog Machine model. Yeah, that's right. The this cutest. is in fact the second time an exact model of the Telltale Kitchen yeah. has shown up because in 205, it's, our favorite. it's in hell as well. So Sam. whatever. Sam. <laughs> Stand back, Sam. I'll send those doggle gangers right into the harbor. Oh, yeah. the sweetest animations ever coming up. Who said that? Hello, folks. Not this one. This, one's this is pretty good. I mean, it's cool, but not as cool as the next one. This actually genuinely freaked people out. Uh, reading on the reading on the forums and reading hearing from reviewers, people did not like when the ventriloquist dummy turned around and was alive. Which is good. I knew it was evil. Well, thankfully, like all evil dummies, Charlie's pretty much helpless without a host body. Am I? Says Orem. Kill it with fire, Max. This is it. Yes. Oh, oh. Oh. He steals so his good. hat, he steals his car, <laughs> and, and he punches it at the end. <laughs> that also creeps people out successfully, oh, which is Sam. sweet. Oh, I just had the most there are some hilarious dream. animations in that kind of scene. Was making out with a giant in the background. Then an evil ventriloquist <laughs> dummy knocked us out and... <laughs> 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 That's a good environment. 
Yeah. Yeah. I like when Max recounts his dreams because they're either real and insane or false and insane. <laughs> <laughs> in season one when he dreamt that Sam was a giant walrus or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> way more naked Sam flesh than I'm comfortable I don't know. with. It's in reality, you point out, it's good. Great show for you tonight, I remember these and germs hmm. for our first I remember the first like production meetings for this sequence. <laughs> and just like no one really got it except for Stemley. No, you don't understand. There's like like hundred dancing Sams. Max is glowing like all just crazy, you know. Well, we're just like, wow, all right. Back. And then Most it turned you, out crazy. You'll epic. be too busy <laughs> screaming and gouging your eyes out after your pathetic reality <laughs> is subsumed by the glories of the dark dimension. <laughs> but you won't want to miss it. <laughs> <laughs> the great and terrible Junior makes his long awaited return. <laughs> Lovingly slips me onto one of his tentacles Aww. of anguish and plays with me. Those video game enemy blisters all still make me a little sad. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Hey, where'd my toys go? Looking for these? Let's have a big Dark Dimension round of applause for Max. Without room tonight, Apocalyptic Conjuring wouldn't be possible. I feel so violated. And now, on with the show. Hang on, Sam, I'm coming to get you. <laughs> it's that beat after it I'm, makes it. I'm so happy that we can just oh, yeah. add stuff that's not in the in the script or in the yeah in the script. Name of Kubrick's and if it's good, we could just add it. Abomination. That's Junior, youngest of the elder gods. When the walls tumble. Yeah, I remember there was all this like uh, concern because originally the clones were were supposed to be just like these background characters that had no personality. That, that was like sort of the point of them because they're killing them at the end. And once we started adding like bunny clone and hat clone and like trying to make them like have personalities, it's this huge concern that like we were that the end when they were jumping into the torch and sacrificing themselves that people were going to be super heartbroken. And I was that's like, so Dude, good though. Yeah, which is good. That's I was like, that's the point. And I was like, plus. We go way over the top and then smash bunny clone. Too, so it's like, <laughs> right, that part doesn't matter. One of them gets hit with the falling head and then another one gets stomped on by hooks. Yeah. 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 That Max flying through the air thing is awesome. Don't. Yeah. Get back into the toy box where you belong, Charlie. You'll never be The voice actor who plays Norrington is awesome. Yeah. 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 Looks like the crowds had just about enough of your guff mops. What do you say, everyone? <laughs> Jesus. What? I've seen all this tough crowd. <laughs> <laughs> the voice processing on that is so good. Oh, this is, is where Warrington I... dead? <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, no wait, sure. Oh, no, he's dead. <laughs> it looks like everything's about to go kablooey. So if you'll excuse me, I'll just ascend into the first. <laughs> so how does he do that? He uses psychic powers. I didn't mean to use him earlier. Shh. Oh. Well. oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Magic. Hey. Toys, I'm as Sam is also a giant talking farm. dog. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Miss, miss, I think not. Dr. Norrington? <laughs> Max. Hey, but what is that? Listen. Or is he? The power is within you. None of his eyebrows are thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> I think Norrington's just unlocked your total psychic potential. Oh, I knew that. Ah, uh, Jake. Head's about to explode. What? Either way, you should play. Uh, Uber Max. I worked on the Uber Max effect. Which you only did later, I found out, was so that I would work on in episode five. Yeah, I said, <laughs> Dennis, I'll give you this cool Uber Max effect. If only you make crazy all stuff right, for my yeah, episode. Were like, I will stay late and work all this weekend to make this if you stay late a lot and work on weekends. <laughs> it's like, crap. <laughs> 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 it's classic uh, attack the to or attack, me. attack me. Yeah, attack it's, me. Pretty, it's, it's pretty it's culture. Really cool. Hey, you're right. Oh, this is actually makes me feel sad. We rarely actually just show a villain dying, yeah. like being ripped apart on screen. I'm just why is this <laughs> happening to me? I won't. Because you're an evil, creepy cycle control Kristen. Oh, yeah, that's true, Dan. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> aww. He went to the same place Super Bowl did, apparently. Ah, yeah. My <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddies. Hmm. Yes. That's my hat, Sham Clown. 
Dennis narrates all the non-verbal parts when he's directing. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> what, what animation Buddy. is that? <laughs> I know what that is. You may remember is. that from Fear <laughs> 2. <laughs> what? I, I thought we were doing a thing here. <laughs> <laughs> that icky demon seed must have broken my fall. What ridiculous luck. Says you, I think I swallowed some of that dark dimensional demon yoke. But that has nothing to do with him turning into a monster. No, no, Doesn't? No, Jake would like to. Like so you know, it's his psychic oh. powers going out of control. <laughs> Not funny, Max. I like hilarious. Eric did a great job with this cutscene, and Jared did I, I, hilarious I stuff like, with like, the 70s electric like like keyboard start showing up. <laughs> <laughs> Sam. <laughs> Hang on, little buddy. I'll go get you some soda crackers and lukewarm pork. Oh, <laughs> that's sad. That still awesome. creeps me out. The halfway between, Max. Yeah. Bunny crew. Oh. Looking into the camera. I love Bunny crew. Yeah, the idea was that all the clones would have like little Sam, <laughs> Sam <laughs> tendencies. HP Lovecraft spinning through the thirteen abyssal planes on a propane grill. And this now is personally my my saddest moment in the whole game. <laughs> this? No, 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 no. Oh. This. He Day loved one. him. When I was like, we should have a clone with a bunny, and I was like, and he will die at the end. That's all I cared about. <laughs> I remember Eric put a lot of work into the final shot of this where he showed he showed Monster Max in the city uh, being giant and reveling, and I said, my bad. Please please take that out so that we can have it in episode five, and he was really mad because it was probably one in the morning when I asked him to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Will rest in your trembling hands in the concluding chapter of The Devil's Playhouse. <gasps> That's oh, a good clip. Oh it's my god. god. Listening. Sam and Max. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that was a great episode. Oh, that commentary. Thanks for joining us on this podcast thing. <laughs>